the phantom zone is a place that uh you know they're fine they're fine they exist just like they would here um it's just that they cannot create they cannot create any problems so in other words uh you know it's just like a, a person in society that's bothering others that's the same thing so you know if it were according to the law that's harassment that could even be assault or whatever and people are put in jail for that uh, in other words they're contained they're still fine it's just that now they can't go out and create they can't create problems because that's all they're doing so again it's your decision uh you decide uh and even Rebazar pulled the the queen out for uh for a couple days one time to give her another chance but she just wanted to be a bitch. And that's it, because causing havoc, destroying lives, etc. It's not about right or wrong. It's like, look what they're doing. You know, they're part of the destruction of this uh, this realm uh, and other realms, too. Uh, and it affects the total realms. So they need to be contained. That's just it. That's their free will. And you have free will, too. Uh, nobody be needs to be bothered by them. But you make the decision, you're having the experience. So if they're not bothering you, they're going to go bother somebody else, uh, take over their body, kill them, whatever. Uh, that's what they're going to do. But Phantom Zone is just, uh, that's from the Superman comic books. I just used that idea. It's just a place where they can't get out and they cannot, uh, they cannot uh, create. Uh, and that's what this is all leading to, the uh, this realm, this... Uh, creation bubble it's there what they're doing is producing this darkness to where uh whoever's in it will not be able to create and we need to create to become more aware to until you really recognize he is you need to create to uh, gain that objective view to recognize uh, the all is so uh creation is needed otherwise you're just in blackness that's it you got nothing so you decide, yeah, and you can bring them out too. So the thing is, they go in and out just like a jail. You know, when people go to jail, even though they've murdered people and caused havoc, blown up stuff, etc., hey, they're in there, they're fed, they're taken care of. It's just that they they're contained to where they can't do that unless they do it to themselves and the other prisoners, which they do sometimes too, and even try to do it to the guards. But uh, no. Uh, you see the re reality of it. Uh, they just simply can't create. They can't create havoc until they finally, you know, maybe wise up a little bit. But from what you're telling me, see, the rumor has gone around a lot about the Phantom Zone. And they don't want to be there because they can't do anything, you see. So they'll probably leave you alone. But there are others that they'll, they'll go bother somebody else because they're bored. They don't have a purpose. So they're going to go out and bother people because they're bored, just like kids that hang around high school or gangs. You know, all the stuff they do, they go cause trouble because they got nothing else to do. They're bored. They have no purpose. Yeah, so you give them a chance, and if they keep it up, well, you decide. You have that option. Just, again, prison is a good example. You know, don't they, don't people that have been in prison for a while, they have the option of uh, going before the parole board to see if they're worthy of being released. Same, it's the same idea. So now that you've caused all this havoc and you want to get out and you want to, oh, I want to go with the new you because that's all we're interested in. Uh, how are you going to prove that? See, now they got to prove it. See, so just because they say so, well, you decide. Yeah, the way I look at it is uh, like the people that have come and gone here. And when they come back, it's like, OK, well, uh, you know, why should we let you in the groups or whatever? How, how are you going to prove that? How are you going to prove that uh, you, you're going to do it? How are you going to prove that? So see, again, that's where each person has to learn to be creative for themselves and uh, wake up to what's going on. It gets very real. So again, we're if you want to be sympathetic, that's fine. I am too, but realistically, uh, to help the individual, you don't baby them and be passive. That's what the masters and gurus do. Well, it's time to step up and be real. What will you do? You see? That's the idea. That's how I see it. But 
You decide any way you want. 